right, welcome back to Rogue Tech, welcome back to the Chandra and Mark II, and welcome back to The Long Hunt, part four. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm expecting the game to totally crash at some point during this mission, because, uh, yeah, I, I literally recorded Friday's episode, had this minimized, edited, rendered, and uploaded Friday's video, and it's now... About midnight, I barely made it in time. Um, but yeah, so apparently it's a recovery. So we're not even like All killing right. the Come guy. Go. We're literally problem. just grabbing him and bringing him back to our employer, I guess. Also, I don't see anyone. Um. I really don't like having to run over rough terrain or through the water. I don't need cooling, so I think I'm actually going to take it slow. Yeah, enemy contact, okay. We got a fire starter, a flashman, question mark. Looks like a fire starter. Alright. No, I guess it does look a little different. It looks close. It's probably light. Probably. Um, but yeah, we're out of combat, so we're gonna just on the move. Move and brace, move and brace, move and brace. Get as much defense as we can. Good to go. And also try to set up like a firing line. So we're not getting stray shots. I only see three. So I assume that means there's another that's still. Yes, Commander. I don't like obstructed. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna let them take a turn while I have 40 percent damage reduction on everyone. Copy that. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of evasion because of the forests. Okay, too large, too medium. Manageable. Good to go. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm going to let them all take a turn. Fire starter, Thunderbolt. Okay, breaching shot with swarm missiles. Light damage, Commander. Alright, that's fine. Serve. And then... Reserve one more time. Everyone will have gone. And I can start pushing. And shooting whoever I can. <laughs> oh. Did I scoot back? Oh. Let me scoot back in. I think I might have scooted back from when I was recording. Yes, come on. Friday. Huh. So we're pretty short range, huh? You turn on the supercharger. You know what? Actually, if I go here, I run through the spore cloud. Copy that. And I can EWS ping. Locked on. All right. At the very least, that'll let me see exactly what they're carrying. ER large pair, ER medium pair, ER small, and two flamers. Two larges, no, three larges, four mediums, and a flamer. Okay, so Flashman's actually a heavy. Fire, ah, it's an Omni fire starter, so it's okay. That's a Black Knight. That is not a fire starter. That's a Black Knight. Of course. Um, yeah, and then a Thunderbolt. So, okay. They have three heavies and a medium. We have um, <laughs> a 60 tonner, a 45 tonner, and a 50 tonner. Waiting for order. Cool. Awesome. Love it. I definitely want to stay in cover because I have a combat shield. Am I okay with obstructed line of sight to get closer? I think I am. Just 
just to, to get the extra evasion and to get a little bit closer to the high ground. Firing. All right. Yeah, Commander. Judith. Again, obstructed, obstructed, obstructed. So. On my way. Double time. <laughs> So, what do we got? Flashman. I mean, Acid Debuff doesn't care about Obstructed Line of Sight. Alright, 0 out of 40, nice. Yeah. These guys all have quite a bit of firepower. Standing by. Wait, can I shoot and move? I can. Yes, Bear Claw has enough mastery to shoot and move. Okay. So we shoot. Target locked in. And then we move. Location confirmed. Beautiful. And AC ten and jammed. Beautiful. Again, swarm missiles. All right, that's fine. Commander. Twenty percent fail chance on the supercharger, and I don't think I need it to get there. I am incorrect. I do need it to get there. Oof! Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please do not explode. So there's thirties. It's not much better. On my way, double Please time. Don't explode. <sighs> All weapons, go. Alright. Cool. Supercharger did not explode. Um hmm. Okay. Fire starters. Leaving the high ground. Receiving you. I mean, I'll take it. Hellhound can shoot move too because it's got the nimble quirk, right? Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, fifty-two point seven. That's really hard to pass up, especially when he's already hot. Enjoy your heat. And go through the spore cloud. Get a little bit of extra out. defense going. Alright, Flashman facing off against the Ostrov. Not hitting anything though. Whew. It's good to see them missing so many shots. Order. Definitely turn the supercharger off now. Uh, all the Ostrox weapons are in side door, so, yep. Ah, can I, can I only melee the Flashman? And only from behind? Really? That doesn't seem right. I mean, I guess he still has less, yeah, he still has less on his back than he does elsewhere. Okay. Bang bang. Super unsteady. Beautiful. Yeah, he's gonna hit the ground this turn. Ooh, but we gave. We gave the Black Knight a backstrike. Not ideal. What's up, boss? Um, yeah, we're gonna act with Bear Claw first. Really? Bear Claw can't get an angle, huh? I mean, I guess I shoot the Thunderbolt and then move. Or do I sprint? Oh man, it's so unfortunate we can't hit him. 
That's so unfortunate. I mean, I guess shooting something is better than shooting nothing. 45 damage. And then we move to there. Heading out. Good to go. Really, I also can't get a line with Judith. Okay, so he's not getting knocked. Awesome. I mean, if I'm gonna shoot, it's probably gonna be ER, right? 52.7. Yeah. Targeting for an alpha strike. Alright. And then move. Position confirmed. We're actually putting out some pretty decent damage. And he's still continuing on with the swarm. I'm really not too worried about that. Uh, minimal damage on that hit. Firestarter's toasty. Firestar is doing nothing and not sinking very much heat, actually. Okay. If much of that had hit, that would have been really Seven bad. Light. Let's do this. Alright. Bear Claw. Cannot get an angle on the Flashman's back. But since we've already started on the back. Wow, that's... Those hit chances are not great. Hmm. What's the play? What is the play? Do I go for stability damage? I mean, the ER medium... I mean, the, the Ultra Auto Cannon's jammed, so... I think I just get in here. Look at my hit chances. Yeah, no, nah, th that's worth shooting. He's not open yet, though, so I'm not gonna fire time six on the machine gun. Ah, uh, commander. Okay, Black Knight is toasty. But yeah, just just Double yeah. Double time. Let's go. Go with incendiary, black knight, fire. Give it up everything I got. Just watching to see if the Ostrock gets hit. Nope. Nothing on the Ostrock. <laughs> Alright, Flashman moves away from the back strike and shoots the Ostrock in the it's side. Holding. Okay. I mean, there's an argument to be made for just punching him in the back again, actually. Because nobody can get behind me. Um, I am in a Vigilance, though. Yeah. I think that's the play. On the move. And then hopefully I act okay. for anyone else. Oh no, I didn't mean to kick, I meant to punch. Ooh, no that's not good. Also, straight shot, not great. Stray shot, not great at all. Of critical hit. Reporting heavy damage. Oh, now they all get to go and the Ostrock's unsteady. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't mean to kick. That is gonna be cost. Then again, the Black Knight can't really do much. Yeah, except overheat. Wonderful. Firestarter is also overheating. Still shooting. Interesting. That shot went internal. Okay. Awaiting orders. So, our right arm is a shield arm, so we don't really care that it's about to fall off. Um, let's vigilance again. Supercharger on. And. I mean, the Thunderbolt's already open in the side. Backstriking him, him would be a waste. So instead, we're going to run around. I wish we could get five evasion and shoot somebody. Uh, 
but I can get four evasion. Uh, but then my back would be exposed. Uh, I don't think he can get directly behind me there, so I am actually going to do that. Start shooting the Black Knight in the back. In part because I can target because he's shut down. Firing a full salvo. Okay. Scored a critical hit. Receiving you. Ooh, jammed. Unfortunate. All right. Ah, uh, that's why it kicked. I must have clicked punch when it was grayed out. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with the Hellhound getting shot once in the back, right? Hopefully. Away. Hopefully. Target in for physical attack. Wow. Commander. That was not significant damage in the least. But it's fine. Roger. I mean, honestly, this is a mistake. Yeah, this is a mistake. I did not need this much firepower to take him down. Locked on. So I will actually not shoot. Yeah, I will actually not shoot the uh, ultra auto cannon so it doesn't jam. Yeah, I should have gone for the back of the flashman. I'm being flanked. Yeah, I deserve that. Losing armor. Absolutely deserve that. Flashman is hot. Still shooting though. Oh boy. Things were looking good for a minute. Yeah, now I can't get behind the Flashman. Okay. Okay, uh, Supercharger off. Can't really get to anyone. Um, I'd rather shoot the Thunderbolt in the side rather than the front. Uh, yeah, I guess. Moving to position. I guess we shoot him in the front and just hope we don't get back struck. I mean, we have the damage if we hit side. But it's not... Well, then again, it might reduce his initiative enough. Fun. It does, actually. Cool. So, the idea is we go for the side torso that's open heavy damage. with Phoenix Hawk. Good to go. And with the Phoenix Hawk... No, wrong side. Can I not? Oh, boy. Okay. I can from there. Alright, um... I don't have enough for Vigilance. Cool. So yes, this is definitely a move and shoot rather than a sprint. A little dangerous out. having the Phoenix Hawk be the one picking up the payload. <sighs> Hopefully this kills. Maxing out the machine gun. Actually putting the machine gun first, because if we can get the ammo explosion to completely destroy the side, and then follow up with everything else. Confirm. Nope, no ammo explosion. Unfortunate. Okay. On the bright side, he won't actually have the target until the end of the round, so they will not focus fire him until then. Um, yeah, I want you to get into the flashman's back. Yes, just like that. And finish him. Let's move. If you would, please. Um. Just in case this doesn't kill. All weapons are gone. Go for a direct overheat. It kills. Beautiful. Alright. That's a kill. All right. I'm out of short range missiles. So we've got a Thunderbolt, which is actually still very scary. Well, damn it. 
I was about to say maybe not. The asset has been secured okay. and is ready for retrieval. They're gonna start focusing the Phoenix Hunt now. Or do nothing. Waiting for orders. Questionable. Okay, so which side? I want to hit him from this side. But I can only get obstructed. The Ostrock will be able to get unobstructed. And the fire starter has cooled down completely. So, I think... <sighs> this also leaves my back open to the fire starter. And my back is not looking great. Okay. You know what, I'm even gonna go Vigilance. Because, yeah, the, the asset is on John Rambo. They are going to focus fire him. Alright. Yeah, firing into 40% damage reduction doesn't feel great. But at least John Rambo's got 60%, so that's good. Shooting at the Hellhound. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. I'm ready for orders. Judith, bleeding out. But we actually can very much seventeen point four. That's it's not a lot. Can't even get into a side really. Oh, I guess. I guess I could get there. Yeah, all right. Away. Let's Double do it. Time. Just stay calm, Judith. Just stay calm. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll use Apollo. Sure. Beautiful. Ammo explosion. Enemy down. That is exactly what I wanted. Uh, supercharger on into the commandos back with three evasion because that's what we can get Tenfold. really surprising that our hit chance is so bad against him whenever he's like never mind Firing all weapons. i guess we just didn't have vision <clears throat> all right flamer destroyed connection, that one. and yeah judith is just gonna first aid from now on yes commander Oh, cool. The the one hex where we could have shot him in the back, we can't get to. Great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reserve with Bear Claw then. Yep. Yep. Alright, Firestar gets a turn. And he goes for the Ostrock. Or... Awaiting orders. I stand corrected. He goes for absolutely nothing. Yep. Oh, the supercharger was still on. Oh no. Please tell me the supercharger didn't explode. Okay. I think we're good. Mission successful. <sighs> Alright, we made it through the mission without crashing. And yeah, if I had tried to include this in the last episode. I would not have gotten up in time to schedule it for Friday. But yeah, it's okay. We're going to do more than just this. Yeah, uh, huh. the Ostrock. I am so glad that the supercharger did not explode there at the end. I would have felt so dumb. All right, so we're definitely taking the Black Knight part, which is actually all we need to build that Black Knight. What are the odds we're ever going to see that Black Knight again? Oh wow, okay, I think we actually get everything, or almost everything, but there's nothing I really care about. Uh, we don't have any Flashman parts, we don't have any Thunderbolt parts, okay. Um, uh, yeah.
kind of wish I hadn't destroyed the Black Knight like that. <laughs> like if I would have just destroyed him from one side instead of backstriking him, then I would have gotten at least two parts. And then I wouldn't have to use the, uh, the BL10K and, or was it the NT5H? Um, oh wow, that's clan tech. Ooh, okay, that's really hard to justify. Like, if it was just one that was special, but the fact that both of those parts are like, one's clan tech and one's like super stealth and everything, that's hard to justify. But yeah, um, take the flashman part, I guess. Okay, large laser. We have four of them. Goodbye. Medium lasers. We have 15. You know what? I'll keep them. Why not? Machine guns. We have clan machine guns, I believe. Improved? Sure. We have 37 double heat sinks. Basic sensors can go. Powered sensors are actually pretty good. They're, they're a passive probe that counters these from stealth by two. For no tonnage at all. No extra slots. Just really good sensors. And we don't need a shit anymore. Okay. Alright, here we go. Cool. So we captured him instead of just killing him. Alright. Okay. Indeed. Pay us. <laughs> Alright. Cool. 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 Alright. <laughs> 53,000 in seven days. Alright. Why don't I use the Phoenix Hawk more often? Hey, cool. Highlander part. Clan Large Pulse. Sure. Plan A, team three, okay. Heat sink double, I can't sell from this. Hey, a Black Knight part! We don't have to use one of the fancy ones. A mask, a command console, I mean, command consoles are pretty good. Ooh, actually, a command console would actually be pretty good if we put it on an indirect fire mech and dropped it with the other two indirect fire mechs that have AMS. That'd be interesting. Kind of boring to watch though, I think, if the entire lance just hid behind a mountain lobbing, mo uh, lobbing mortars and LRMs across mountains indirectly. Some jump jets, okay. But we got a million sea bills for that. So altogether, between the missions we played and between that payout, we're up to four and a half already. But there's no store to shop at. Are there any missions that I care about here? Wait, do we have mechs to drop? We do have mechs to drop, actually. Even after three consecutive deployments, we still have spare mechs. And this... <laughs> this is a great demonstration of the difference between Baradol and I. Yeah, I, I I really enjoy watching his stuff because he plays so differently than how I do. I always like to have spare mechs, spare mech warriors. And we actually drop on some high skull. Desert, 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 desert. Oh. What happened to the desert, desert? We were just fighting in jungles and stuff, like... Oh, I guess the flashpoint is independent of the planet it's on. Okay, so do we have mechs that will function well in a desert? Uh, Orion? Yeah. Orion's good. Uh, IAC-20 fires twice, generates an extra 8 heat. Even with that, we're overcooling. Hmm. Okay. Guillotine. Okay. 
Butane is exactly heat neutral in a standard biome, so it would actually run a little toasty. But it has a lot of small weapons, so it's easy to just turn one off occasionally. Uh, the Griffin? Yeah, Griffin, Griffin runs foolish. Um, oh, again, in a normal biome, it will generate a little bit of heat in the desert, but... Hmm. Okay. I mean... Yeah, turtle is too hot. Yeah, we got enough mechs that don't run too hot. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. What can we do? Planetary government, huh? High end mechs kitted to the gills. High end mechs kitted to the gills. Hmm. That is dangerous. But at the same time, that is good salvage. And this is... Pirate Lance. Pirates in the desert is dangerous because they very often bring heat. So let's do this battle for the pirates against planetary government. 312 sounds good to me. And... Oh boy, what mech warriors do we have left, actually? Well, first things first. I know we got the crab. And they'll do... No, ether. Ether was the crab. Yes. Ether was the crab. Uh, we've got the Orion... Which was... El Duce was in the Orion for one mission. Uh, Grandpa has been in the Wyvern, so we're gonna drop Grandpa in the Wyvern. Helga was the Orion, alright. We got the Guillotine. Who was the Guillotine? The Guillotine was bo right? Yeah. That's two and a half. Oh man, we still got more we could bring. Uh, let's definitely bring the Griffin. Just so we have a tank and you tank, tank, tank. That can just soak a lot of damage. And if it explodes, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, oh, we can only drop four. Oh. We can only drop four. Yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Our, our four best that we could drop would have been like two and a half skulls. Then again, it's only six and a half. Wait a second. So I'd only be able to drop three and a half anyway. Alright, so we're definitely dropping the Orion. The Orion, the Orion will do work. Real quality work. Um, we're definitely going to drop the crab, because the crab is pretty tanky. Um, definitely got to drop the guillotine, so that we have some maneuverability and some, just, you know, ECM and stuff, warfare suite. Then what's the fourth? Bushwhacker? Griffin? Centurion, Wyvern, I th think the Griffin, because it's going to just absorb the most damage. And we're going to throw Kamea on it, because she gives everyone else bonuses. <laughs> and the Griffin's not there to really do much other than just soak damage. Oh man, we should totally put uh, Upper Hardened on the Griffin. Or, like, transfer this build to an assault mech and then put the upper hardened. 
give it a Dreadnought Gyro, give it a, a Combat Shield. Like, yeah, it won't do as much damage as an Assault only would, but man, it would be able to soak so much fire. Yeah, I know. This is risky, I know. Alright, so, yes, high-end gear, high-end mechs kitted to the gills with gear, but it is also planetary government, so we could be facing anything from clan tech Command to risk tech to initiated. quick sell, honestly. Don't expect that it to be an honorable fight, which means there's probably reinforcements. Alright, so this is destroy enemy units there, and we can drop in a circle around them. Map edge. Yep, circle, circle, circle. It looks like a circle, so I don't think they have a support lance there. But over here is an area we cannot drop. So this is probably reinforcements. Awesome. But there is a giant ridge. So, we might be able to kill them. I'm actually going to try to drop where nobody can see us. Hopefully this works. Because if we can skip first turn... Perfect. So there will be no spawn protection. They can't shoot at us directly. I hear vehicles. Okay. I see one high-end mech kitted to the gills with gear. Uh-oh. Uh, Cascatel with, I believe that was a thumper. Okay, that one did not appear to have direct line of sight, so it didn't shoot anything. Man, they have really high initiative. Or wait. I'm ready for orders. Yeah, they all win, and we just don't have that high of initiative. We're turn 16 for our first activation. Oof. Um. All right, so we really need to spec up our pilots. I think I'll do that after this mission. Um. I'll probably just spec up the pilots and travel, so if you're just here for the fights, you can you can leave once this battle's over. Um Like Yes, the vulture is scary and dangerous. But the cascatel that has the thumper there. It needs to go. It really needs to go. And I'm going to go for as much evasion as I can get. Which is three. Well then. I see. There's no place where I get direct line of sight to the... Yeah, no. No. Ooh, but I can shoot him in the side there. Okay, I'll take that. I'm not going to shoot with obstructed line of sight anyway. Um, yes. Let's do that. Do I have enough missiles to really do it? Yeah, I think I do. Wow. I was really expecting a kill there. 30 of 40. Hit by AMS. Wow. Wow, oh wow. Okay. I really also need to scatter so that they aren't able to just, you know. Oh, I should have actually had offensive, or uh, not offensive Systems push. Uh, for another shot. Waiting for order. Yeah, offensive push to lower his initiative for next round. 
Did I turn Helga's enhanced imaging on? I honestly don't know. Yeah, we're not scattering nearly enough. But I really want to hit in the same side again. Affirmative. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Alright, thumper off the board. Targeting so now it doesn't matter that we didn't really scatter. Alright, and then I want to present a target to the vulture and shoot the other Cascatelli. Copy that. I think that's the play. I mean, then again. What's the point of shooting it if we're not going to hit it? Oh, it has so much armor, too. Yeah, no. I guess let's start on the Vulture, then. Just because we have, like, double the hit chance. Oh, yeah. AMS. Okay. That's fine. That's... I wonder, actually, now that I think about it, if you have multi-target and you shoot missiles at three different targets, does that count as three activations for an AMS? Oh, I've been hit. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. You're fine. Um, Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Because, like, if that counts as three different activations of the AMS, that means there's three separate chances to jam if you have multi-target. Good to go. Just, you know, a use of multi-target that I've never considered before. Also, Kamea's in trouble. She's already injured, and if she gets touched by anything, she gets knocked. Also, I love how... <clears throat> I love how high-end mechs kitted to the gills means... Aerospace fighters. Roger that. Again, I should have offensive push to try to lower his initiative so that maybe Kamea could take a move action before she gets knocked. Then again, that was the only activation I had, so no, I wouldn't have been able to. I just have to hope he doesn't shoot at her. Cool. I'll take it. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, getting in the side of the Cascatel does allow us to do tons of damage to it. And we're still firing with obstructive line of sight to the Vulture. So, let's do that. And next turn, we can do an EWS ping and save some heat. Waiting for orders. Uh, turn off the mask and supercharger. I mean, that's unobstructed. Yeah. Let's move. Absolutely. Uh, and I think Swarm is less likely to be intercepted by AMS. I believe. Mm -hmm. Also, AP to try for an ammo explosion. Lost evasive. Alright, definitely going vigilance, both for the damage reduction and to lose the uh, stability damage. I can't get in the water, huh? I mean, I can get right next to the water. And then, can I shoot anything? Honestly, all I really want to shoot is one LRM. Nope. Is an EWS ping okay? EWS ping is not okay. I believe in you. Don't shut down, Kamea. Don't shut down. Beautiful, thank you. Next turn we can get in the water, everything's fine. Everything is completely fine. I kind of 
I kind of don't want to like tear the vulture up too much because I think that's the only salvage we're gonna have that's worth taking. Because over here we got a box truck, a coolant truck. Standing by. Oh boy. Wait, can we not get in the water from here? Really? Seriously? Oh boy. That's not cool. All right. Location confirmed. Honestly, I'm just gonna brace to sink heat. And also for the damage reduction. All right, so light goss rifles. <clears throat> are those clan light goss or are they? That shot went internal. In a spirit light goss. So, MML wrist unjammed. Yeah, they're just inner sphere light goss. Man, that's it. That's all. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's got a. Ooh, it's got an emergency coolant system plus two. It does have clan Pharaoh. It does have clan. We actually do need clan Indo. I think we're out right now. And turret mount's good. Good to go. I think we're going to get in position to get into his back next turn. With a supercharger and mask, we can get into his back, can't we? Yes, we can. Alright, let's just put him down. I do not have vigilance. Uh, yeah, we're just going full damage. Full damage. Uh, LK is actually more likely to be intercepted, so we're definitely not using it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go down. Like I said. Commander. Oh, I said that last episode. Well, I mean, it was just earlier this night. But yeah, like I said. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Orion definitely brings the damage. It's a lot more splashy than the Marauder, but it does a lot more raw damage. Um... I'd rather not run through the fire. Okay, thanks. Sure. Targeting enemy six. 55 damage. So yeah, both sides are kind of damaged. Commander. Uh, turn off the supercharger so it doesn't explode. And I was gonna do. Roger. I was gonna do an EWS pig, but it's just a little bit of overheating. My See, we're fine. Everything's fine. Although I am very disappointed with everything that's dropped here. Like, I'm really hoping there's like a stealth mech or something over with the two vehicles over there. That would be really cool. Please. <laughs> Please tell me that's not seriously all there is. Ready for orders. I mean, I copy. Obviously, I don't want to stay overheated, so I need to drop some of this. But that should copy still, that. well, it might still be a kill. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. Commander. Helga, turn all the things off. You can't even shoot this turn, so we even turn that off. And yeah. Oh, move. Yeah, drop the stability damage. On the move. Drop that stability damage. Good to go. Like, do we even know what they have? Vehicle flamers? Wait, VTOL propulsion? Okay, that was just weird. Alright, um... Yeah, okay. 
XL engine for money if we blow up the front. Um, this thing has a machine gun. Please tell me there's a stuff neck. <laughs> Oh, what a joke. What a joke. Like, this, this has got, this has got to be a joke, right? I'm gonna drop all my heat. Tell me what to shoot. Just, just do that. Tell me what you need. I think I'm literally gonna be happy to take their XL engines just for the sake of getting money, just for the sake of getting something out of this. Affirmative. Push around, try not to get in the fire. Yeah, now we're sinking. Sure. Affirmative. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, whatever. Ah ha ha, yes, okay. Hello. Interesting. Unfortunately, he brings heat. Desert plus heat equals bad for me. Yes, Commander. Okay. Um, yeah, kick on that supercharger. Aye, aye. Still sinking heat, still sinking heat. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I know all it has is a machine gun. I know. Yes, I hear you. It's just a thing to shoot while I push. Okay, she is done being hot. And if we move right It'll there. Actually, shoot at the Marauder with no hit chance. All right. I'll make it happen. I mean, honestly, I should be focusing the vehicle that has the flamers. Commander, because vehicle flamers are no joke. So Moving I'm gonna to do vision. exactly that. I'm gonna go vigilance and. Actually, am I overheating there? I don't think I am. Firing everything I've got. Yes, I am. Uh, getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Okay. It was really hard to tell. Also, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, it is like 1 a.m., so... I'm not the type to usually stay up this late. Yeah, we're going to kick on the things to try to get somewhere where we can do a thing. Wow, we... Okay. Yeah, we're just... We're going to be able to get to the Marauder faster going this way. No shoot. So that's exactly just what we're going to do. Yep. That's what we're doing. Putting some heat on the guillotine. Putting a lot of heat on the guillotine. Oh boy. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. Alright. Ace pilot too. Alright. Like honestly, just a marauder would be bad enough. A marauder in the desert would be bad enough. Marauder in the desert with Inferno missiles. Oof. Just. Waiting for orders. Oof. You know, I think the crab continues chasing this. On my way. Until he can cool down a bit. Got it. 
I mean, how much does the coolant trick even have as far as armor? Surely not that much. Actually respectable armor. Hmm. Orders. Alright, so. Turning off the supercharger because it's a multiplier. And we're just gonna move Embrace in the cover. And try to cool down. Standing by. Um, yeah, turning off the masked supercharger. We cannot get a shot on the Marauder, however, we can get a shot on the back of the coolant truck. 55%, huh? 61.8. Plus enhanced imaging. 67.9. Copy that. That could even actually be a kill. It's not. Clustering was too bad. Yeah, all over. Literally all over. Just sandblasted him. Loud and clear. Um, okay. You know what? It's fine. Now that she's not under the effect of the Inferno, it doesn't really matter. She's not going to generate, like, any heat firing indirectly. I have you outflanked. I'm literally just trying to destroy him so he doesn't turn around with his vehicle flamers and cause him problems. Oh. Oh dear. There is battle armor. Oh dear. Yes, actually, please focus the Griffin. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. Absolutely love they it. My armor. You're fine. Look at how much armor you still have left. 100 on the arm, 160 on the side torso. You're fine. But yeah. <laughs> Battle armor. That changes uh, a little bit of my strategy now. Supercharger on. Get away from the battle armor. Um, can the guillotine shoot both? Yes, it can. It has nothing to shoot. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I go for four evasion. Okay and shooting what I can. And just staying away from the battle armor. Am I not sinking any heat? Oh, right, right, right. I got hit by Inferno missiles that generates heat for two turns. Alright. Sink some heat, get some chip damage. Helga in the Orion. No, the Orion cannot shoot in that move. Okay, actually, if I kick on all the things, I can get there and shoot with obstructed line of sight. Understood. Moving fast. But, that's fine if I'm firing armor-piercing with the hopes of getting an ammo crit on the MRM-40. And with Swarm, which does one damage anyway. You. Firing. Oh. Interesting. The Marauder is immune to through armor crits. AC 20, or ammo through armor on. damage. Okay. Kind of wish I would have saved it for the battle armor now. <laughs> All right. Surely this kills, right? Twenty-nine damage to that side, sixty-eight to that side, and forty forty-nine to the back. So yeah, yeah. Got it. Basically, if I hit any of this, if I hit any of this, he should die. Roger that. Boom. Beautiful. Alright. Now I can stop chasing Cam and go Got back it. after the Marauder. Tell me what you need. Kamea. 
I need you to go Vigilance. Walk forward. Yeah, now walk forward. And shoot at them. Yep. Okay, I see. The Marauder has AMS. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess I was too far away from them to swarm. Also, that's stealth battle armor. Okay. So, huh. The Orion needs to get out of there, I'm in part because damage. battle armor, and in part because... Yeah. That Marauder is scary. That Marauder's hot. No, this this is not the heavy M room that has the incendiary. That's the Hellhound. Mask off, supercharger off. Uh, I need to show my right side. I can't move. Wait, wait, I can't move at all? What? Why can't I move? Um... I actually think I have to kill the battle armor. I think if the battle armor swarms me, I am completely dead. Alright. So... Uh, but I can't actually shoot the battle armor and turn my left side away from the Marauder. Alright. Decision made. Alright. Not gonna lie, I was kinda hoping for a headshot. Alright, so... I need to kill the battle armor. Or at least prompt the battle armor to jump on the guillotine instead. So right now, one, two, it's like... Can they actually jump on the Orion? Looks like the Orion's up on a hill. Now that I look at it. Um... Hmm. I mean, the Marauder's really hot and running mostly energy weapons. Roger that. So I think I am going to go for the Angorona. In part because I have such a good hit chance on them. Probably partially because of the, uh, the uh, Warfare Sweep. Did not kill any of them. Reading you loud and clear. All right, Kamea. You know, incendiary missiles would actually be really good on the Griffin. Since it's not really doing too much damage anyway, it's mostly just there to absorb fire. Okay. Go ahead and go Vigilance, just in case. All weapons locked on and firing. My heat is in the red. Right, right, Inferno. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next turn I'm absolutely EWS pinging with her. These hit chances are garbage. Got it. Hey, we hit one. That helps. Critical hit, Commander. Alright, so they get to go. Swarm. Yep. Yep. Awesome. That's problematic. But that twist on the Orion was very important. Very important. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. Like I'm taking damage. If the Anand explodes from overheating, 
that would really help simplify things a lot for me. I'm literally just gonna ignore the truck. Standing by. You know what? I said I was gonna do it. So I'm absolutely going to just EWS ping to drop all of my heat. All right. Let's try. Oh yeah, supercharger off. I wonder if enhanced imaging actually does anything to help. Eh. Okay, so apparently we killed one and killed all of them? Wait, did she just like crush them? Oh, what's up, boss? Is that. Did they change the way SWAT works? Yep, still just firing the IAC 20. Gotta drop all that heat. Go ahead and go vigilance. And completely turn. Waiting for orders. Cool. And yeah. Ooh, we can actually backstrike here. Sprinting! Which is interesting. Because if we can panic out the mech warrior. Cockpit interface, engine XL, prototype heat sinks. Uh huh. That's some interesting stuff you got in there. That's some interesting stuff you got in there. Mind sharing? Good. Beautiful. Happy to see that going for the Griffin. Happy to see it. My heat sinks can't keep up. Okay, turn 27 is the machine gun, and he runs away. All right. Uh, orders? Okay, I can understand a vehicle running away when their only weapon is jammed. Fine. Acceptable. Okay. Get over. Ooh, right, 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 right. Need our right side. Mm, okay, it's actually better, I think, to have just my right side my facing Double time. rather than be in cover. I don't have enough vigilance, but we do have the heat to actually sandblast now. Although LK is more likely to be inter intercepted, so we're going to go standard. On it. The AMS was not fired. Did they disable it because of the heat? Actually, if I'm trying to panic them out, I can't. I can't charge, huh? Oh no, I can't. I can punch. So I need to cool down anyway, and a punch might help panic them out. Come on. Go home. Go home. Orders? Your heat's fine. I'm gonna try kicking just because I know it'll go to the legs. And... I will drop the rest of my heat. On the move. Okay, leg destroyed. Unfortunately, it was the left leg and not the right leg. So, yeah, we just destroyed everything. Goodbye. Goodbye, salvage. 
That's a kill. Yes, I hear you. That's unfortunate. I'm moving out. Uh, definitely not the air lage, laser. All right, one LRM. On the enemy six. six damage. Yeah. Beautiful. On the bright side, we're no longer in any danger. Mission accomplished. Just a pesky little machine gun to deal with. Standing by. Fighting planetary government is always so weird. <laughs> it's always so weird. Yep. Here it comes. Time to go home. Full time. Half time. All right. Mission successful. All right. Eight hundred thirty-four thousand. Easy money. It was a little bit dangerous. We uh, we soaked through armor damage. We uh, <laughs> we uh, got overheated pretty good. Almost had a side torso pop. And the left torso is where all of the ammo for every weapon on the Orion is. So if that thing popped, we would have been in trouble. Yeah, everyone else was completely fine. The Griffin soaked so much damage. And it's still fine. Like... It still had 100 armor left on the arm. That's more than the crab starts with. It's almost as much as the guillotine starts with. Crazy. Alright. Okay. We already got rid of our marauder parts, didn't we? I know I said I'm not going to build another marauder, but... I would absolutely build another Marauder before I built another Vulture, and that was a really interesting Marauder. Is it Omni? Oh, okay. So all that cool stuff was fixed. Hmm. Animus Mark II wouldn't hurt to have sitting around. I mean, medium improved heavies are nice. And we're in 40s are okay. Um, cockpit interface. I mean, we already have one sitting around. Looks like we did not get a chance to get the clan endo. I mean, there's some more hardened armor. You, I have demonstrated this mission exactly how powerful hardened armor can be. That griffin soaked so much damage, but. This item may explode when hit, dealing damage in a wide area. Deals area of effect damage within 90 meters of impact. 150 area of effect damage to units in radius. 150 area of effect heat damage to units in radius. 150 area of effect stability damage to units in radius. Crates and crates of small arms munitions, fuels, chemicals, and other war material. There's always a buyer for such things. What? Weird. I mean, protos. We don't have a lot of protos. I think I'd actually rather have the protos than the AMS Mark II. And yeah, we blew up all the MRMs. Or all the MRM ammo. All of it. All of it's gone. Yeah, I'm gonna take protos. So that we have six. Alright, we got a Marauder part. Okay. Beagle Probe, we already have three. Fire Control Breaching, never gonna use it. Proto, 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 cool. Heavy Flamer Ammo, sure. Light Goss Ammo, sure. Long Tom Ammo, we already have two. All right. All right, 95,000 C bills, 12 days, sure. Um. Nice to see you down here. Yeah, all we have left is the Centurion, Wyvern, Bushwhacker, and Turtle. I do not feel comfortable dropping them, so we are going to immediately travel. All decks are but to where? Activity. Chapter 1, verse 76. This flashpoint is long. 
I mean, it is right there. 21 days travel time. Two and a half, though. That's that's too low at this point. We've we've gotten rid of. Ooh, what's that? Of unknown origin. Huh. Flashpoint campaign. It's it's only two skull. But I have no idea what a flashpoint campaign is. This is the first time I've seen this. No, no, that's right. I saw another one. I didn't get to in time. It disappeared. But this one. Roger that, Commander. Tonnage requirement heavy, but it says two skulls. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'll, I'll totally pay 100,000 to not lose her. She's great for throwing in a mech that is low impact, but, you know, is, is helping the entire group. Okay. So, actually, are we in our field to repair everything? See, I absolutely want the Warhound and Hunchback. Untouchable. Actually, I kind of want all of these. <laughs> Something like that. Alright. So, in seven days, all of our most important stuff will be fixed. Oh, That's also, funny. we're about to go back to normal. Yeah, back to 2.5. Because we're going to arrive very soon. Plus, we already have plenty of money. So, that should help everything get done pretty quickly. Okay. Nine days, eight days. Ah, oh, Kamehameha's gonna be ready. Kamehameha's gonna be ready for battle. Okay, actually, what I'm gonna do real quick. While I have time. No, not the Orion. Um, the Archer. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Our Archer doesn't have armor upgrade. Doesn't have a structure upgrade. Or even an engine upgrade. Let's do that. Specifically, it occurred to me, we could toss hardened armor on there. And if we can come up with 15.5 tons through an engine upgrade, gyro upgrade, structure upgrade, we can have a super tank. All the AMS in the world, all the armor in the world, and then a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of useful stuff. So, actually, mm, actually, I'm going to need to put ammo somewhere else. So, actually, we'll put, out of curiosity, is case built in? No, case is not built in. So, we need more case, too. Just all the case too. So we have some AMS ammo on the right arm, some AMS ammo on the right torso. If our right side goes, we lose all of our AMS ammo. That's fine. Um, so now we, we can afford to put... Well, we might not be able to afford, yeah. Really? Oh! It's only a 140 core. This is only saving 2.5 tons. I see. I see. Ah. 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 What if we drop back armor? So, this, oh, let's leave it at 30, that's 60, 60, 60 in the back. I mean, we don't have to completely have double. Like, the head doesn't need 106. This is 76. 
the only thing that's gonna punch through that in one shot is like a Gauss rifle. Actually, that's 62, 78, that's 80. That would actually survive a Gauss rifle to the face. This shield arm doesn't need 220 armor. See, already we're getting to the point where it's not worth it. Unless, can we drop a smaller engine for it? That does not, that saves us half a ton. With no engine upgrade, that only saves us half a ton. Wow, okay. Um. Hmm. I mean, that would give us a lot of tonnage. Also, I don't think we need two bins of Artemis Ford. I think we need a bin of some other kind of specialty. <sighs> Hydra is just so... Yeah, let's go with some incendiary. And a half bin of Typhoon. Why not? I know, I know, we're already over here. We're already over tonnage, I know. I'm thinking. So, these are each 10 tons. If we had Clan Elder in 20s, this would absolutely work. But we do not. We have one Clan 15. Yeah, I don't think hardened armor works. What else are we gonna do? Add direct fire weapons? No. Okay. So with the hardened armor, let's just set everything to um, 23 is what it basically is at max. This is 75. This is 65. No, 55. All right. 75. This is 110. This is 75. And this is 75. So, with them here, this is how much armor it had. So. Again, bring it up to, no, not 35, it was uh, 33, that's 66, 70, 82, yep. So we can now take a goth shot to the face. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the left arm at 110 because there's nothing on it. And let's go 150 for the right arm, okay. And then one, one, 200's good for the legs. And then the rest just goes evenly distributed among side torsos and center torso. So now we have 290 armor in the front, 220 on the side torsos. 
the original 110 on the left arm, 150 on the right arm, and 200 on each leg. It is quite a bit tankier. How much, out of curiosity, how much does a light engine save? Probably not much. Um, oh. Light engine requires... Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have enough slots because we don't have plan endo. Yeah, we do not have plan endo. Uh, bulky endo is 22. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, the hybrid TSM is pretty good for a mech that has a small core because the plus 30 meters walk is flat. Oh, we dropped the 140 core to a 130 and that made it actually slower. Okay. I'm less sad about the idea of losing... Oh wait, we don't need this case 2 anymore. Because we can do this, and we can do this. That gives us a full extra ton. So do we bring another ton of ammo? Sure. Why not? Bring another Ben of Incendiary. Because again, the odds of us getting... Uh, what is that? Three full alpha strikes. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's bring the Artemis back. We've already added... And actually... The fact that the tandem is only 80 instead of 120. Like, that's a full alpha strike that we just lose. And it adds a jam chance. And as we saw with the MRM, or not the MRM, the uh, armor piercing AC20 CE, that that through armor damage is not enough to just pop a turret. I mean, to, to pop a vehicle, unless it's a very low tonnage vehicle. So. Yeah, let's go with two bins of incendiary. So we have two bins of incendiary, which we can fire indirectly with no penalty. Which does bonus damage to structure. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Alright. And at some point in the future, we can totally replace the LRM-20s with clan LRM-20s. And that will let us add a ton more armor. And it was already slow, so the hardened reducing the speed by 20% doesn't really make that big of a difference. Oh wait, yes it does. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's down to one hex. I see. Okay, um, how heavy is a step up? 140 core to 145. Wait, what? It's the same tonnage? It's the same speed? The 155 is 3.5 tons heavier. Okay. I don't think this works. As much as I want it to work, I don't think this works. Because the, the sprint whenever you're using hardened armor actually is incorrect. Like, right now you see it's 40 meters, 75 meters. If you drop the hardened armor. Well, it's dropped. Um, 
Is it dropped? Oh, no. It did not properly drop. Okay. Uh, you'll see it's 50 meters, 75 meters. But once you're in combat, that sprint from 40 meters becomes 60 meters. So we're going to have one move to sprint. Then again... Then again, two, three dropping down to one, two, isn't that big of a deal. And that means we actually can drop in the 134. And yeah, we go from 40 meters to 36 meters, which is still one hex. 36 meters uh, times 1.5 is 54, which is still two hexes. Right? So we, if we put this back, and it is 50. Yeah, it's two hexes. So yeah, it's still 1 2, even if we drop down to 134 with the hardened armor. I mean, the other option obviously is going stealth. Dropping the Guardian ECM, bringing a Chameleon LPS. Like, heat really isn't a problem for us. Like, even if the AMS is just going constantly, we can just not fire one of the LRMs. And Chameleon LPS is more effective the less you move. Well, not, not necessarily the less you move. If you move three hexes or less, so two, three uh, move sprint, then you get the maximum of the mimetic stealth charges. So basically the idea is either we bring stealth that makes it so that we don't get hit as much despite having low evasion, or we bring hardened and we just welcome the damage. I think because we don't have the tonnage to really go up on the armor, I think the better play is actually to go with the stealth. So, back to what we were doing. We are definitely dropping the tandem. Come on. Um, we're dropping the Garden ECM because we're putting stealth armor. Okay, so we have Chameleon. Um, dropping the compact heat seems to the leg because we're adding more ammo. So we're adding uh, two bins of incendiary. Boom. Boom. All right. We have case two, we have case two. Internals, Indosteel, right, slots. I really don't want to put composite on a mech that's moving two, three. At all. <laughs> that, is, that is not a viable option. At all. But yeah, Chameleon LPS, 20% extra weapon heat, 15 heat return. So 20% extra weapon heat is 6. So we're up to 42. And 15 be 57. So we're heat neutral. Uh, but that's also showing a 3 instead of the 8. So we actually we would be generating heat every time we shot. Assuming our AMSs are both firing off. And if they fire multiples, well, you know what? That's fine. That's completely fine. Because what we can do, uh, where is it? So we have this other 15 clan. It generates 15 heat, weighs 3.5 tons. So it generates less heat. 
it does do one less damage per missile. But if we're mostly firing like incendiary or indirect spam, so if we do that, that gives us a lot of tonnage to work with. It also gives us extra slots. Can we then bring Indo? No, still not enough slots. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'll keep the extra five missiles. Um, and just drop in the gyro. Yeah. Alright. And then we actually even have enough if we drop a little bit of armor. Just a little bit of armor dropped. And now we have enough for another bit of ammo. which I think is gonna be AMS High Explosive, just in case we're getting shot at mostly by arrows and thunderbolts. Is this too much AMS ammo? Maybe. The one mission we dropped it on, I did not actually pay attention to how much AMS ammo we were burning through. Oh yeah, um, by the way, AMS Mark II, notice. AMS has a 50% jam chance per activation in overload mode. Advanced AMS has a 25%. And remember that the jam chance reduction from gunnery is flat. So if you have 10, 10 gunnery on your mech warrior, plus one from the rangefinder, 11 gunnery, that means that this actually only has a 14% jam chance per activation. And if they're lucky, I think the multiplicative is before the additive. Don't quote me on that one. But yeah, 20% would be five. So it would be then, if you had, again, 10, you would be at less than 10%. Like, adding gunnery A and B, like you can get the advanced AMS down to almost never jamming. Pretty good. I like it. I, I actually do like the Advanced AMS a lot more than the AMS Mark II. The AMS Mark II is more so to like throw into a mech as an afterthought when you can't afford the tonnage for an Advanced AMS, or you can't afford the extra ammo, since it does fire off more. But it also has a much better missile intercept chance. So like, even if you can only afford one bin of ammo, the Advanced AMS makes that ammo better. I don't know. But yeah, having AMS is definitely better than not having AMS. So we got six Alpha Strikes of Artemis. What, what did we figure this out? Uh, seven, eight, something like that. Seven, yeah. It's just under seven. And then another six shot or six alpha strikes of incendiary. We shouldn't run out of ammo anymore. Because I did notice that did happen in the mission we dropped. Of course, in doing this, 1.17 million. It does make it a lot better though. It's a whole lot better just having a chance to not get hit. Pretty good. Okay. Let's do it. On. So, we arrive in six days. Vanish report. Oh, what happened to the... Oh, right, right, we lost the laser. Right, I was gonna retire this thing. Eh. I guess I'll do one more mission on it before I retire it. Cool. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Alright. That's it. Let's get there. That work already right. submitted? 
Cool. So, four days. Three, two, one, and we arrive. But we're not going to start this yet. We're going to start this next time. But first, let's jump in the store. Uh, battle armor medium laser. Battle armor laser cutter. Advanced Optics Mark II. We already have two of them sitting around. 325 core. Eh. Okay, so nothing super interesting. I mean, we already have three bins of AMS or SRM counter. Which is a very viable way if you have a bunch of clan SRMs sitting around late game. It's a very viable way to use clan SRMs. Because I. I believe a clan SRM-6 is 1.5 tons, so you can put in one SRM-6 clan and one SRM counter missile for 2.5 tons, so half a ton more than an advanced AMS, or not advanced, uh, AMS Mark II and a bin of ammo, and it will intercept arrows and um, thunderbolts very easily. And it also can intercept up to six missiles. So SRMs, ATMs, things like that. Pretty good. LRMs, it gets overwhelmed really quickly, but yeah. Anyway, um, so before the next episode, I'm going to go through the barracks. I'm going to skill everyone up, and then we're going to start this flashpoint. But for now, that has been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.